What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm back and uh, as you guys can see we've got Bikini Bottom Tours episode 6 today. I do apologize for the um, gap between today's episode and the last episode. I've just been a little busy and um, I've also been building which has kind of taken me a while so I'm excited for today's episode. So today's episode is going to be Goo Lagoon and Karate Island. Now Karate Island is like its own episode but it's kind of involved in Goo Lagoon which you guys will see that's why I include it here. Hope you guys do enjoy today's episode. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys do and uh, yeah. I'll get in the build and start showing you guys stuff. All right, so as you guys can see behind me, we've got Goo Lagoon here. Um, obviously, first off, we've got the sign, which um, just, you know, says welcome to Goo Lagoon. Um, the sign's in like every single episode that includes Goo Lagoon. It's like the first shot we see of it every single episode. So uh, I kind of like how I put that and like, it's got the orange and the little like wooden post and stuff. Uh, next, we can kind of go down here, follow these little posts down to the actual beach area. So we've got a little changing hut from one episode, and then uh, we've actually got like a little volleyball field, a little lifeguard tower, obviously, up here that just kind of overlooks the water. We've got some surfboards over here, and then just like some umbrellas and some little uh, beach towels. So a lot of just like small details, but they're kind of colorful, so it adds to like the beach aspect. Over here, we've actually got like a little bit of a boardwalk that just kind of looks out over the water. Um, I'll start over on this side before I get over to there. But here we've got the snack bar, which is seen in the Ripped Pants episode. Um, I know for sure, there's a couple other episodes it might be seen in, but very basic, just a little shack that's a snack bar up top. And then um, we got little bar stools. And then behind we've got a couple uh, stove and then like some sinks and stuff. And then out back I put just like a little trash can, but it's pretty simple, uh, really small. We actually had a couple of these, but I just went down to one because I could only really find one from episodes. So next we're gonna move over here, which is also from the Ripped Pants episode. This is the little ring where everybody is lifting. So there was a bunch of small weights, but I added in some like big anchors, like a big weight. And then um, there was these two little changing things just in the background, so I put those there. Obviously we've got the bleachers and then yeah. But yeah, like that's pretty much it for like the weightlifting area and the little snack bar over there. So we can move on over here. So right here, we've got the uh, juice bar, if I back up a little, which is seen in the episode where SpongeBob um, has like the inflated arm where he's like looking stronger than he actually is. Um, I think the juice bar looks really cool. That's one of the newer things that I've added in since uh, I first built on this uh, build. And then uh, obviously if we move inside here, we've got the, um, just like the bar. And if you look at the picture, it just kind of looks like it. Um, I kind of like how the bar turned out. I like this green, I forget what block it is, but it looks really cool. Um, it's got some nice like little textures to it. So I thought that that was kind of a cool block to build with, but the inside's really simple. Like I said, the outside is just kind of like, you know, looks like the picture. I really like how the um, hay looks. I didn't think that I liked the like wire or whatever that like holds it together, but I think it kind of adds a little bit of texture. All right, so lastly, I've got Ripper's Reef over here for you guys. Um, just very simple. It actually used to be over there. All of this water we actually put in recently um, just to give Goo Lagoon like a bigger feel. And I'm so glad that we did it. It just looks so much cooler that it, now that it's like bigger because um, it takes up like more space than Atlantis and some of our other bigger builds, whereas like the water over there really didn't. I really like uh, just like kind of the small details that we put into this build and others, obviously. We've got like the little snowboard or uh, surfboards and then like the umbrellas and stuff. And then obviously we've got like little lights under the water, which I think looks kind of cool, like right here. So one last thing that I actually want to show you guys from uh, Goo Lagoon is if we follow this little sand mountain up over here, we've actually got this little campfire. And this is actually from the episode when SpongeBob and Patrick run away. I thought that it would be really funny to add this in up here and actually I'll turn it to night just to make it even more funny. So obviously up here, we've got the uh, campfire from when SpongeBob and Patrick run away. And so when this was originally built, this like gigantic mountain deal, I actually joked about putting it up here. So I actually did. I thought that it was kind of funny um, because everybody knows the scene when Patrick and SpongeBob are both eating candy bars and Patrick eats this too fast. And then eventually he gets mad at SpongeBob. But I thought that it was kind of like a fun little touch 
to put up here because um, other than that, this mountain is purely for show and it actually kind of hides what I want to show you guys next. So if we go back over here and I'm going to turn it back to day. All right. So if we go back here, you guys are probably wondering what this waterfall is and you've probably seen a little bit of it because we can't completely hide it. But if I take a boat here and I get in and we go through this waterfall, we've got this little like, I don't know what to call it, like mystical forest deal that Drew and I made and it actually looks really cool from like both sides. I'm really happy with how it turned out, but this is what takes us to Karate Island. So um, this is this was Drew and I's, one of Drew and I's favorite builds when we were building this because um, we liked kind of the one-off episodes that like had cool looking builds, obviously. So like Karate Island is one of those um, builds that like looks really cool, but it's not like really popular. I don't know. Personally, I always liked the one-off builds because they were kind of like unique and um, you could kind of get a lot of details in them because you could just go back and watch the episodes. But yeah, just to start with the outside here, um, it's kind of hard to get a good picture because the only one of like the entire place is the one of Sandy in the water. So it's kind of at a distance, but um, I guess it kind of does a good job of showing what it looks like. We've got the little mountains and then um, on each side and then obviously we have the tower itself. Um, my roommate actually helped me with the tower. Uh, he kind of built these like, I want to say like curved up edges. I don't know. He's really good with like building stuff like that. So he actually got on and built that for us. So they kind of like curve up. So thank you, Lucas, for that. Um, it made the build look much better. And it honestly still one of my favorite builds that we have in the world. I know I say that about a lot of builds, but I just love this entire world. And um, certain builds just kind of like, I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the outside of Karate Island. Uh, pretty simple, just kind of like aesthetically pleasing and looks kind of cool. So we can move inside here. So right here, we've got the first floor where Sandy fights her first boss, the guy with all the tickle arms. Um, this one's probably the simplest of the three or of the four floors, just because it's the simplest, um, you know, like concept. The second floor here, we've got the padded room, which is like also simple, but it just kind of took a little longer to actually put like all these blocks in. Um, this is where Sandy fights the chap's lip, chapped lips boss, where she pulls out the uh, hair dryer and chaps her lips. Then she goes up to the third floor where she fights uh, the filthy guy, the green guy, and we actually used to have like slime blocks kind of hanging around, and I thought that that looked kind of cool, but it was all brown in the episode, so I kind of just thought that I'd stick stick with that. It's a lot more simple, and um, I actually had to move the floors around, so I thought it just kind of made it easier on myself. Finally, we've got the uh, fourth floor up here where Sandy fights the boss. So first off, we got the cage over here where she gets trapped in the episode. And then we've got this little beam up here where you can kind of see like the boss and her like when they all muscle up. And then obviously back here, we've got the chair that SpongeBob gets held in. Um, it's a very simple episode and it's kind of crazy to think about like a 15 minute section in the whole entire series we spend this much time on. But it's such a cool build and I feel like the one-off episodes that are more popular or more fun to build. So that's kind of why we went into detail with this build. But yeah, that's pretty much it for like Karate Island and Goo Lagoon over here. I'll give you guys one last look. If you guys did enjoy today's episode, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It's uh, much appreciated. It helps the channel grow and it helps this series reach new viewers. And uh, you guys have been killing it. I really do appreciate all of your guys' support on this series. Comment down below uh, things I can add to this build or uh, previous builds from the past. And then also comment down below what builds you guys want to see next. I've got so many builds on this world. Anything SpongeBob related that you guys want to see, I probably already have built or I could build pretty easily and add on to another episode. But yeah, all that being said, hope you guys have a good day. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time.